What's up guys? Today I got a pretty cool video just for you. I know you've heard us talk about mobile tool network on the channel before, on Joe's video, also on Hamilton's video. And today I am going to bring you a special treat. Today we're at mobile tool network. We're just outside of Spokane, Washington. And we're going to take a tour of the facility and show you what's going on here. And also introduce you to the platform and see how they can help you. For all you tool dealers, like we've said before, if you're not part of the mobile tool network, you should be. And in this video, we're going to show you why. So you guys stick around because this one is pretty cool. All right guys, so we're at Mobile Tool Network and we're at their order fulfillment center and this is a warehouse that they use to store all the tools before they ship out to their customers. And this is Corey Arnold, you've seen him before on the channel and Corey's gonna kind of give you a brief walkthrough of what they do here at Mobile Tool Network and how it can help you guys save some money on tools that you need. Because we all spend a lot of money on tools and we also know that a lot of tools are rebranded and that's one thing that Mobile Tool Network has done is kind of brought those tools to light and help them make more accessible to guys that's on a tool truck because frankly not everybody can afford to pay three or four hundred dollars for a tool and the tool trucks with their tool truck uh, accounts that they offer where you can make low weekly payments is a great way for all of us to get a lot of tools that we need at prices we can afford and these guys have stepped up to the plate and made these tools much more accessible to us so I'm gonna let Corey take it I'm gonna get out of the shot and that way it's all on him so you guys stick around so Mobile Tool Network is kind of a, a thing that we started. Uh, first the thing about Mobile Tool Network is everyone that works here and works with us, we love tools. Okay, And so uh, when we were looking at uh, starting the Mobile Tool Network, we decided we were working with a lot of tool trucks and we realized that one of the things that they wanted and their customers wanted, they wanted to buy the, the, the tools from the people who were making the tools, the manufacturers themselves. They wanted to buy the VIMs and the Langs and the CTAs. And we thought, well, if we could build a platform that would allow tool trucks and their customers to be better connected, and then also uh, you know, give them the reliability of you know, fulfillment centers across the country, quick shipping, fabulous customer service, we'd kind of be able to get those tools to the customers that they wanted and, 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 and answer this question that, uh, that tool trucks have been wondering for a long time is, how do I get new tools on my truck early? How do I pay the right proper price for tools so I can continue to and stop losing sales to Amazon? All right, so obviously you guys have a massive amount of tools here. Um, you got a lot of products that I've seen that's, that's very popular um, on tool trucks for rebranding. A lot of you guys know that Astro makes a ton of tools and a lot of them's rebranded that sold on tool trucks as well as Lang and um, VIMs, a ton of their products are rebranded. You guys have, what, ESI? What's some of the other brands you ESI, carry? Thexton, sell a lot of CTA. CTA is a great company. Um, we sell 310 tool oil filter funnels. It's a new product. Socket straps, we try, uh, and then obviously Nipex, um, Nipros, um, Norseman Drill and Die. Uh, we try to pick up as many USA made products as we can. Mayhew, of course. Uh, Whiteside, Tubba Towels, the list goes long. <laughs> the list goes on and yeah. on. Well, one of the things Corey talked to me off camera, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Nepros Ratchets, and um, I wasn't aware of this until Corey was explaining it to me, but Nepros obviously is made in Japan, and Japan, the paws and the anvils considered consumables. And we obviously know here in America, we love lifetime warranty tools. Yep, yep. So when these guys uh, worked out a deal with Kyoto Tool Company to start carrying Nepros to be one of their authorized resellers of their products, they worked a deal out where they can have a lifetime warranty. So only the ratchet sold here in the United States that comes through Mobile Tool Network have a lifetime warranty and actually sent you guys kits where they can be field repairable, just like your Snap-on or your Matco or your Gear Wrench or any other of the popular ratchets on the market. What's funny about that story is that they, they really resisted wanting to like get put a lifetime warrant on the, on those items, but so they send us a certain amount of kits for every ratchet we bring in the United States. 
we've never actually warrantied them before. <laughs> so it's, yeah. it's been interesting. I still have every single kit Kyoto Tool Company has ever sent Mobile Tool Network. So well, they're good great. ratchets. So I want to kind of go through and you kind of walk me through the process of like how it works. Like how fast do you guys actually ship product out? Like let's say I'm a tool truck or yeah. an end user and I order a tool right now, I hit enter. How long does that take for the process to go from there to getting it to my house? So, I, you know, Mobile Tool Network is, we're, we're a software company as well. And so we've, we've streamlined everything from the way we connect to the tool trucks and the way we, we send products out. So we two day ship everything. So um, no matter where you're at in the United States, as long as something is, if it's in our warehouse, you'll have it in two days. Okay. So how long, how long is usually the turnaround like in the warehouse as far as getting it off the shelf, putting it in a box and getting it on a truck to be shipped? Same day. Same day shipping. Same day shipping. So well, I, it's the better we can get connected and, and as we progress, um, I think that'll even get faster. Okay. That's, can't beat that. Same day shipping. Same day shipping. All right. So I know off camera, we talked a little bit about some of the issues that, that I've read the comments on and talked to guys as far as the channel and a lot of them are kind of against tool trucks because if they need a tool on a monday and their tool truck don't run on a friday they have to wait for the tool or right. if they the tool truck runs on like a tuesday they break a tool on a wednesday it's the next tuesday before they see the guy you know and then it's another week before they get the tools warranted hmm. and i know like off camera we talked about how you guys actually go through the tool trucks to sell to the end users kind of walk everybody through how that works and what yeah. the advantages of, of having it for a tool truck and also for the end customer. Yeah, so, you know, when you, when you, you, you get rid, when you go through the fact that we're, we're a wholesale distributor to tool trucks, one of the things we wanted to create was this next generation buying experience for not only the tool trucks and purchasing from a company like Mobile Tool Network, but also their, their customers and help them be, get better connected to their customers. So you can actually sell to your customers 24 seven by adding them to your MTN.tools portal and you can stay connected to them. So there's some tools in there to always be connected to your customers. So when they need that tool, when they're sitting there doing that job and they need that specialty tool and they need it on Friday, but you're not gonna be there till next Wednesday, but we have two days to ship it to them. They can order it in their portal from you as a tool truck. And we'll ship it directly to them if you want us to and get it to them and they can have it in time for that job. All right, so I know off camera, me and you had kind of talked about the, kind of the walkthrough of how Mobile Tool Network operated. And one of the, the most common complaints that I have on my channel where I've read in comments, a lot of guys don't like buying from tool trucks because one, it's way more expensive and they know that a lot of the tools are rebranded. Yeah. And then the second thing is if a tool truck shows up to your shop on a Monday, you need a tool on a Tuesday, you have to wait a whole nother week for you know that tool to come in and quite frankly some of the jobs require that tool to finish that job at hand yeah. so a guy has no other option but order online so kind of explain a little bit how you guys help the end customer as well as the tool trucks on that yeah so well we carry a lot of specialty tools and um which tool trucks specialize in and so when if one of the things that we do is we allow you can sign up your customers so as a tool truck you can sign up your customers in your mtn.tools portal and what that does is gives them gives them access to the inventory on your truck all the time however though if that one tool that you don't have on your truck or um or you do have it on your truck and they need it in two days they can order it in their portal and we will ship it directly to them for you and so one they get to continue to buy from their tool truck. They get it there in a timely manner so they can actually use the tool for the job. And then three, where you are not losing that sale to an online retailer. And so that's, you know, we want to keep at Mobile Tool Network, our entire focus is keeping the tool trucks and their service and their financing that they provide to their end users and all of the wonderful things of why people got buy, guys buy off tool trucks and keep them the center of the professional tool market. Well, I know, you know, I have to blame myself as, as far as this goes and a lot of other YouTube creators, you know, we've kind of brought um, the tools to light, I guess, you know, we've yeah. kind of pulled that sheet back that was hiding a lot of the stuff. You know, we've showed that, you know, this tool is rebranded by this tool truck or yeah. this tool truck or this tool truck. And honestly, at the end of the day, it's the exact same tool. It just doesn't have their name stamped on it. And it carries the same warranty as the tool truck tool. 
But one of the other advantages that I see a lot of times, you know, a guy needs a tool, but you know, if he can save money on that tool and end up with the same tool, he's doing nothing but bettering himself and bettering his family because the whole reason we get up and go to work is to make money to provide for our family. So, I mean, I think it's a great thing. And honestly, what you guys are doing for the tool trucks, as far as keeping them in the center, because when they order through your portal, they're getting the same tool, but the tool truck guy's still being able to provide for his family because he still captures that yeah. percentage of the profits from the sales. And I know myself personally, I've done it several times. I've bought from my tool trucks, knowing I could buy it at Napa or somewhere else because I wanted to support my tool truck. And I yeah. believe there's a lot of my subscribers that feel the exact same way that they had rather support their guy. But at the end of the day, why would you pay $190 for a tool when you can buy the same exact tool for 90 bucks, you know, with the original maker's name on it? Well, I think the thing that you hit, the thing that's the most important from what you just said is, well, there's a lot of important things there, but one of the main things that people don't understand is that tool trucks are family businesses, right? Those guys are, they're family businesses, they're family owned. You know, most of the time it's a husband wife combo. You know, husband works all day, wife helps them, you know, restock the truck at night and helps with the finances, right? And the stories that we keep hearing from the field, because we're on trucks all the time, is it's tough when a guy walks off the truck knowing that you could have had an item on that truck that he could have afforded, right? And as a family business, I, I think tool truck, there's, there's this shift happening where tool trucks are starting to say, no matter what, whether they're flagged or independent, um, that I'm not gonna lose that sale anymore. I'm not gonna lose it to Amazon. I'm not gonna lose it to Summit Racing. I'm not gonna lose it to Tooltopia. I'm not gonna lose it, right? Because my family business needs it doesn't, doesn't matter whether you're flagged or independent, it's a family business, yeah. right? So they need that sale. And so, like, I, I've been on a truck where a guy literally walked off a truck. Like, he could have ordered that tool from the, from, from the tool truck and made that sale and made that money and brought that money home. Well, you know, I think personally with the, as many online tool retailers as they are, um, you know, and Amazon is probably the biggest of all the big, you know, ways for guys to purchase tools online. The core business of a tool truck is to sell tools. Yeah. So obviously his focus needs to push his mainline tool first. So if he's a Snap-on guy, he needs to push his Snap-on stuff or Matco or Mac or Cornwell or, you know, gear wrench dealers or whatever. But don't lose that sale because a guy goes, man, I'm just, I'm not paying $190 for yeah. those three little tools when I can order them off of Amazon for 70. Yep. So you guys actually give them that option to, before the guy walks off the truck and helps Jeff Bezos buy a bigger yacht, <laughs> he can actually help pay his own power bill. Cause yes. I think a lot of the general public don't realize that I mean, it's no secret. I'm friends with Matco dealers all across America, Snap-on dealers, Cornwell guys, Mac guys, all of that. And I understand that the cost of their business, you know, they have their truck payment, their franchise fees, they're toting the note for everybody that's on their route, you know, yeah. as far as their tool truck bills. Plus they have to pay their insurance, their fuel, and all of that has to come out before they even make a profit themselves. So their overhead costs are extremely high. And you know, I've defended tool trucks countless time and time and time again on, on my channel because a lot of guys are like, that's stupid to buy from a tool truck when you buy from Amazon, blah, blah, blah. Okay, try warrantying that tool from Amazon. Yeah, it's, you it, know, it's, it's, a, it's a nightmare. So how does your guys' warranty process work? Because that's the main reason why we buy lifetime warranty tools. So unless somebody steals it or you lose it, you never have to buy it again. So people buy from a tool truck because they warranty it, they'll finance it, all of the, they have amazing customer service. Tool trucks buy from us for the same exact reasons. Warranty, no questions asked, we take care of the warranties. We take care of the, we have amazing customer service. It's the same, it, the whole entire supply chain has to be connected when it comes to customer service. And our manufacturers in turn give us fabulous customer service. So, um, you know, it's just connecting all those dots and making sure that at the end of the day, nobody, no tool truck refuses to take care of a client who's being honest on his truck, right? Hands down, we, will, we don't do the same thing. No questions asked. So you can actually warranty it inside the portal as well. Uh, we do have a new feature coming out where you can actually tech do, uh, you can submit your warranties through a text message with the pictures and everything. So it just takes 10 minutes or 10 seconds, super quick. 
get it done, get that warranty. And, and so you warranty it off the truck and then we take care of it from there. So one of the things that you guys offer that nobody else does, because we all know that all tool trucks before you guys came around, they only had two options to purchase wholesale tools from. Yeah. So you guys sell directly to tool trucks. Yep. You don't sell to the end customer. Everything nope. goes through the tool truck in one way or another. Whether they order it through the portal, yep. the tool truck still gets a cut off of it. But one of the coolest features that you guys do is before the only avenue a guy had to order wholesale tools was ISN or Medco. Yep. <clears throat> They're the big fish. Everybody knows that. It's no secret. And uh, all the tool trucks provide tools through their supplemental catalog that they can order. But the prices are higher because the mainline tool companies, such as Mac, Snap-on, or Matco, still want to make their cut off the same tool. So a guy is actually overpaying for the OEM version of the tool still. But the coolest feature that you told me that you guys offer that nobody else does, so you tool truck guys, pay attention to what I'm fixing to say here. You guys offer a money back guarantee on every single product you sell. If the tool truck orders it and he can't sell it, you buy it back and you pay the shipping? Yeah. You know, one of the things that's interesting that most people don't know is the manufacturers provide that as well. And so if you are selling a, a if you're selling a, 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 an Astro product, if we order a bunch of them, we again, we're connecting the supply chain, right? We're trying to offer the same customer service and just pass it forward. So yeah, no risk. Like we have tool trucks. They've, I don't think I've ever had a tool truck send anything back because you guys are amazing at selling things. But yeah, you, it's no risk to you guys. And one of the things that uh, we get asked about a lot is um, how is Mobile Tool Network going to work on my truck with all of the all of these different tools coming into my truck? One thing that I will say, especially for branded for flag trucks, is that we do nothing but value add to your business. When you put tools of the brands on your truck, you will get more people onto your truck. Better prices, the same service that you provide, right? It's your truck, you're providing that customer service, you're pounding the pavement every day. We'll follow up and give you customer service. You get these tools on your truck, and not only will you see more people get on your truck, uh, what we're, the, the feedback that we're getting from the field is that it's a, it's a pure value add, as in they're selling more of their mainline tools, more toolboxes, because they're getting more people on their truck. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, not everybody can spend $150 no. on a ratchet. You nope. know? I mean, obviously, there's techs that make a ton of money, and then there's also the guy that just started, that he's, and that's the guy that really needs the help from the tool truck guys, because if he's only making you know, a very low wage and he don't have a toolbox or a tool card and all the tools that he needs to do his job, he's not going to be as efficient. And what's the purpose of him spending his whole paycheck no. to try to buy the tools he needs to do his job? So I can see the value in, in both of them, but I like the fact that you guys offer that money back guarantee because a lot of times I've been on tool trucks before and I know you guys that's watching this channel have too and you tool trucks exactly know what I'm talking about here. They've all got that stuff in the corner that's got dust on it <laughs> and it's rode around so long that the package has turned yellow and it looks like crap. So their mainline tool companies are not offering to buy those tools back. And I know one of the issues that I've talked to a lot of tool dealers, they're kind of getting fed up with their DMs and their regional managers forcing product down their throat. Because a lot of times there'll be product that they can't sell. Because yeah. I know for a fact that I've talked to some of my dealers and they've got tools that they didn't order, that they didn't want, that they know they're gonna struggle to sell, but they're forcing that on them. I, all I would say is that we earn your business. Like hands, all day, every day, our entire system and platform, everyone at MTN, we love tools. We love manu the manufacturers, the tools. I, I think the reason, like, I know this is kind of sound like an infomercial a little bit, but Clay's here with talking to us today because he's a true lover of tools, right? He loves the manufacturers that make the tools. He loves the tool trucks that sell them. The whole supply chain, Clay just loves. Well, so do us at MTN. Like, we love the, the whole business, and we want to keep the tool trucks at the center of it because there's no better way to buy a tool than somebody who's going to, I've seen tool trucks go in and actually help people do jobs with tools to show them, right? Um, there's just, there's amazing stories out there. So that's really what Mobile Tool Network's about. Just, again, giving tool trucks the actual tools they need to, to manage their business in 2022 
with text messaging, like giving you guys a whole bunch of tools to connect your clients better, but then also taking the weight off you that comes from having tools on your truck that you don't want there and giving you the ability to buy tools, stock trucks, fully stock trucks, sell more tools. Diversify all, their inventory. Yes. Fully stocked trucks sell more tools. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the confidence to buy enough of a product because you're worried that you're going to get stuck with it for a long time, that's, that, that's going to hurt you as a tool truck owner. I don't know. I'm getting a little passionate about this, but it's tough. It's a tough go. So I'm mentioning something here, and if you say we need to cut it out, we'll cut it out. Okay, okay. But like, I like to bring the latest, greatest, newest, coolest news that's in the tool game. Like that's kind of like what I take pride in. Okay. And I know off camera, one of the advantages you offer tool dealers that are in the mobile tool network that sell your products mm -hmm. on their trucks or through their customers. Yeah. You offer a rebate program. I know it's not out and it's like a <laughs> double top secret thing, but can we touch on that just for our tool dealers? Yeah, so we, we earn your business, right? And so we also, obviously, at the end of the day, they're family businesses. So we want, to me, it look, it's, we want to help create this, a very sustainable process that allows you guys to kind of have like a, a bank account, like a savings account with, with MTN. So we are, we will be rolling out a full rebate program that allow you guys to bank up and, and receive a check at the end of the year. The percentages aren't hundred percent locked down, but yes, <clears throat> all tool trucks starting in March, we will start tallying everything that they purchase from us and we'll be giving them rebate checks at the end of the year. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Like, you can't get any better than that. So a guy can buy his Christmas for his family with just his rebate check from Mobile Tool Network. All checks will be sent out December 1st. All right. I want to let another little cat out of the bag because I know we just mentioned this one and I'm going to tear it open. <laughs> and it can run away or it can stay on camera. It don't matter. Okay. So I know off camera, we talked about some of the advantages that tool dealers have by using Mobile Tool Network. Yeah. And one of the things is you're having an invite only thing at SEMA yes. this year. So kind of touch on that and explain what you got going on there because this is big news. So every tool truck we ever talk to, either they've been to SEMA a bunch and they stopped going or they always have wanted to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our yearly event. We're going to start out this year. We're going to have it at SEMA next year. So we will have one or maybe even two nights. We will get all the tool trucks that will come to SEMA. There will be incentives for tool trucks that are being extremely loyal to us and helping us grow this business. Um, but we will be doing a full-blown event at SEMA. And so dinner, you'll get to meet a bunch of vendors. We'll, we'll do our best to unveil some new products. But we'll also be putting some... We want to sit down and talk with everybody and find out what's working, what's not working. When we say that the life of a tool truck is the center of mobile tool network, we mean it. Like it, we, everything that we do at Mobile Tool Network is literally to keep you guys' businesses moving. So we're going to continue to to add to things. And so the SEMA thing is is the next step. We want to get people together and get idea sharing. And you know, the manufacturers actually want to talk to you too. So one of the things that I want to point out that I think is very valuable, especially for tool trucks, is. Uh, there's a lot of avenues a guy can sell tools, obviously, if he owns a tool truck. And mm -hmm. he doesn't have to purchase it through Mobile Tool Network, but he can still use your software to grow his business. Yep. So off camera, Corey gave a demo where a tool truck can, even if he doesn't buy it through this, this avenue or warehouse distribution network, he can load tools that he's purchased anywhere yep. or whatever tools he wants into your portal and you still sell them for that individual tool truck. Yeah. So when we were first looking at starting the mobile tool network and looking at the software that was available, especially to independent trucks, we were just really saddened by that they didn't have a lot of these tools. A lot of the, the programs are locked down. So the, our software is built on the latest technology that is available. It will scale for the next 10 to 20 years, whatever we need to do to make it so it's, a, but it's also an open platform. And what we mean by that is that you're not, you can sell any tool on our platform you want. You can process a credit card or an ACH payment for within 10 minutes of signing up. It's that quick. Like you can actually be signed up as a tool truck. If you're an independent and you're looking for, to shift softwares, you can be signed up with Mobile Tool Network, upload your clients and be taking payments in 10 to 15 minutes. 
So in other words, it's kind of like a tool truck can have his own personal website yep. and avenue to sell not only the tools you carry in stock, but any tool that he wants. And how much does this software cost that guy? Zero dollars. Zero dollars. So it doesn't need to cost money, okay? You buy tools from Mobile Tool Network and it will always be free. In fact, our goal is to make the software always free. We'll give you the, the, the most cutting edge tools to connect to your clients every day and it doesn't cost you anything. Just come and share your ideas with us and we'll grow together. So I know also off camera you talk because you guys actually have the full-time programmers on staff yep. available to you 24 hours a day. Yep. So any bugs that's in the software, you fix immediately. But one of the coolest things that Corey told me is they can change anything on the platform at any time. Yep. So if a guy doesn't like the way it's flowing or functioning, you guys make it fit the tool trucks. We do. So yeah, our, our, our full-time programming team, they spend their entire time getting feedback from the tool trucks, which filters through me in a lot of ways. And we change it to writing good software is about telling a story, right? And it's about capturing and, and, and taking the things that take you guys a lot of time on a tool truck and make that. And, and we want you focusing on selling tools and taking care of your clients. So if software is slowing you down, we are going to fix it. So this is, they can use it as a full-time software yes. to run their day-to-day -day business. Yep. So it has complete route management, payment processing. You can load your own custom tools. You can send messages out to your I'm going to let the cat out of the bag a little bit. Okay. Just a little some, bit. This probably ain't even Just a heart. little bit. Well, you know, it, it's so one of the things that you can do in the portal is when you like especially during COVID, right? You would show up to a location and there was no way to get the guys out of the shop onto your truck. And so one of the things that we built into the software is you can actually text message all of the, um, the technicians inside of a shop with one button click. So let's say you've got that new CTA seven piece flip socket set in, right? You know you have five or six guys in there that aren't getting on the truck on a regular basis and you wanna get them on your truck. You can type something out really quickly in our platform, hit the send button. It sends a personal text to every technician that signed up. So for it's not one of those stupid group texts. No, 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 Good. no, no. Okay. It's, a communic it's a tool to get guys on your truck because they want to see those tools, right? When you have a new hot tool, or let's say you get snowed in, okay? Tools to connect you to your clients, and, and, and it's just the beginning. We're not even leveraging that as far as we can. So we're just kind of giving everybody a taste of what's available out there, but it's probably the most used tool in our platform. All right, so you guys offer the software. Yep. You don't charge anything for it. Nope. Um, you provide tools that is super competitive in as far as a warehouse, so a guy can buy his wholesale tools here. Yeah, so a lot of the tool trucks that we work with they buy, they buy a lot of wholesale tools from us because we get tools really early too. We work really closely with as many manufacturers as we can to plan and make sure that when they have something new coming out, it's in our warehouse and ready to ship to you guys faster than everybody else. Because ISN and Medco, they usually wait. They, some tools, new tools will come out and they'll kind of wait to see how it does. Tool trucks, and we feel like we have a really good handle on if a tool's gonna to be good or not. Well, one of the things I think that guys are a little leery to on tool trucks about stocking new tools is they don't know how they're gonna move. Yeah. But yeah. with your money back guarantee, yep. it doesn't really matter. So they can try the newest, latest, greatest thing. If it moves, they can always order more. So that leads me into my next question. If you're a tool truck, is there a minimum they have to buy nope. to get the software free or well, be part of the portal or? Nope, nope, no. We're, the software is free, guys. We want. So there's got to be a catch. There has to be a catch. You got to charge a lot for shipping. <laughs> no. So free shipping off everything over hundred dollars. It doesn't matter if you're doing ten thousand dollars a month with a month with us as a tool truck or five hundred dollars a month. Any order that's over hundred dollars is free shipping. I think the message that we want to get across to everybody the most is every tool that a tool truck buys from Mobile Tool Network. Every dollar from that goes, we reinvest it into making and ensuring that there's a process in place so tool trucks are at the center of the tool industry forever. That's what the mobile tool, that's, that's why we started it. 
So it's zero dollars. Zero dollars. Free shipping over a hundred dollars. Free shipping over a hundred. And two day shipping across the United States. Two day shipping across the United States. So if you're a tool truck and you're not signed up to Mobile Tool Network, I definitely think you are losing out on what <laughs> your possibilities of selling tools are. Like if it don't cost you anything, you can buy your tools cheaper. You can offer your guys another avenue to purchase tools at a cheaper price, which means you're not floating as big of a, a, a street balance, I guess you would call it. So here's another kicker. There's got to be a catch. There has to be a catch. It sounds too good to be true. So I'm going to ask the hard question. So a tool truck, he has to pay for everything up front or how does that work? No. So we have programs as well. We will give you net 30 on your, so we don't bill until products ship. So you submit an order. Um, we do like brand new tool trucks to pay for their first order. So a lot of guys will make, you know, they, they, they make a, 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 an order, they pay for it and then we ship it out same day, they get it. And then the orders just start flowing. Uh, we communicate with the tool trucks on everything. Well, I know one of the things that I've heard tool trucks like to do is, is a lot of them like to get paid exactly like they get paid. If they have a sure. good week, they'll pay a bigger chunk on their tool bill. Sure. If they have a bad week, they'll pay, you know, just what they have to pay, you know, so they can yep. still have a chance to provide for their family. So do you guys make them pay, you know, every 30 days or can they make the small weekly payments just yeah. like their customers? So them? like a, a typical sale would be, you know, a, a typical restocking order for a truck with MTN is between 2,500 and $6,000 a week. So what they will do is they just chip away at it as they can. When they have a big week, they pay more when, you know, again, we communicate with our tool trucks so much that it's never really been a real concern. So you, it's not like you make a $2,555 and 12 cent order and you have to pay $2,555 and 12 cents in 30 days from when it ships. Most guys make a, a, a healthy weekly payment and the rest is history. I mean, I would say the, the one of the biggest things that we get from the tool trucks is our tools turn quick. We don't carry every, the other thing that is, is interesting about Mobile Tool Network is we have a lot of Vim tools, a lot of Ash, we don't carry everything. We carry what tool trucks turn on the truck. So well, I noticed you guys are heavy, like in, in some of the really popular tools, you know, like Nipex is a big thing. You, yep. got, you got a massive amount of Nipex on hand. You got a ton of Vim, a ton of Lang, but you got a lot of Nepros and CTA and some of the stuff. But I noticed you guys carry some awesome brands like some of the NOCO jump yeah. boxes and the uh, battery chargers and, and stuff like that. And how is your prices compared to, because I know you've, you've talked to other dealers. We, yeah. we talked off camera and you was talking about the price they pay at, we'll just call it Warehouse A yeah. and Warehouse B. <laughs> and tell everybody kind of like how your prices are on some of the stuff that you've got feedback on. We, we always get positive feedback about our pricing. I wouldn't say that we're lower on everything, but I would say the majority of the tools that we sell, we're lower. I'll say ISN and Medco. I have no problem saying that. Um, you know, we like to be right in, in a safe area because one of the things that I think tool dealers have come to me back and said, the pricing is always changing everywhere else. They get a whole bunch in, the pricing goes way down. As soon as it gets to, to the, their stock, it's low. The pricing skyrockets back up. We keep things really consistent in a mobile tool network. They're priced at a healthy margin, so you can move them on the truck. You can charge your customers an honest price for each item, and you know, again, make money for that family business. There you go. So tell everybody what they need to do if they're interested in becoming a dealer. MTN.tools. MTN.tools. So no www, nope. no dot com, just MTN.tools. Yep mtn.tools and then there's a register form. we there's a there's a form on there you can register you'll give us your information we will call you and talk to you we want to talk to you we want to get to know you where's your truck how's your business going what kind of things you want to focus on we'll work on that first order and get you signed up and and get you roaring there you go all right guys like always thanks for watching Corey. thanks for having us yeah. out here you got, got a massive warehouse with a ton of tools and it sounds like you got something really cool going and I'm glad you let us come out here and share it with the world. Like always, guys, be sure to check out mtn.tools. Hit that thumbs up. Check out there for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is in the description. And we've got some more awesome content that we're going to bring you while we're out here. And like always, if you're not subscribed, click that button. You guys have a great week. See ya.